Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be reacting to a trailer. This has been out for quite a while and I kind of missed it. Uh, this is Fate Khaled Liner Prisma Elia movie number two which is called Namai no Nai Shoujo. And uh, like it came out quite a while ago and completely missed the trailer and now I'm finding out that the trailer has been out for quite a while and it's almost time for the movie to release as well. So I'm just going to like you know react to it uh, because I've not seen it. So yeah, okay, so before we start, I have a small little favor for you, from you guys. If you have not subscribed, uh, please be sure to subscribe because I'm trying to go as soon as possible to 1k subscribers. We're almost there for uh, 746, I think I am currently on. So that means uh, 254 subscribers are left for me to reach 1k subscribers. And... So it will really help me if you subscribed a little bit and if you have not you're new to my channel and you want to check a few of my other videos out before subscribing i'll be linking down to my episode playlist below you can go click on it check out my other uh, video reactions and stuff and there so yeah anyways uh that's that and let's get started so this is fate colored liner prisma uh ilia uh licked namai no nai shoujo movie trailer i'll be linking down the original video link in the description box i'm sure you guys have watched it but you know like still so all right let's get started so here's my reaction to it Stop. oh Erika. oh my god this girl is okay I'm... i'll talk about it later on oh great wow Oh boy, oh my god, this is a song. I might have to mute this portion. Whoa! Whoa, that, that's Berserker's card, wasn't it? Kill Pandora. Wow, she looks amazing in Arthur's clothing, you know? That's Arthur's clothing, isn't it? Damn, wow, the song is pretty lit. Very lit. Oh, damn. Alright. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. H27. Yeah, it's almost like we're almost on the movie release date. So, you know, the day I'm recording this video is 25th of July. So, one more month after that will be released. And obviously, it'll take a little bit of time for it to get you know, properly released in digital versions and all. So, I'm guessing. Uh, six seven months we'll have to wait uh, from this day for us to actually watch this so yeah that was uh, my guess okay now I'm going to talk about it it's a pretty short uh, trailer now obviously Prisma Elia I've been watching it I've only watched the um, anime I've not read the manga so I'm sure like you know uh, like I missed a few things because usually animes do not uh, you know uh, put out each and everything that is in the source material that is manga or light novel they usually kind of skip a few portions just so that they can uh, save a little bit of time and like you know quickly complete it so i am not sure if prisma Ilya did that but i think it has did that i'm not sure like it is all just like on, on like you know on my guesswork so i'm not sure if they skipped a few portions or like you know skipped a few informations but still from the anime uh that we have been watching this four four seasons yeah four four seasons and one movie uh which was the previous movie oath under the snow i think yeah uh, i have a reaction to that on my channel as well so we've been watching it for quite a while and <laughs> honestly speaking um uh, i started uh, prisma Ilya when i after i i think after i read a few uh it was pretty soon that i started prisma Ilya. Uh, after i read the visual novel of fate stay night then i kind of uh watch the anime of fate stay night then i did hollow ataraxia you know all the other um type moon novels for example sukihime i read and you know a few other things uh and then i watched carnival phantasm and i think after that was when i started watching prisma Ilya. and <laughs> I'm sure everyone has, like, you know, each and every person who has watched Prisma Ilya will know what I'm trying to say. In the beginning, it was pretty weird. <laughs> Honestly speaking, I was basically, you know, I, I, like, you know, my main motivation for watching Prisma Ilya was two, were two things. Number one, uh, Ilya. Ilya was 
he's one of the most unfortunate characters in Fate Stay Night. If you guys, you know, remember all the three roots, she does not end well. Her, her fate is not good by the end of it. Either she dies or she sacrifices herself. So, like, seeing, like, you know, Ilya kind of uh, laughing around and having fun with friends was a really nice experience for me. I really liked it. And uh, that was like one of my first motivations for watching Prisma Ilya. Another one was um, Luvia. Yes, I'm a huge Luvia fan. Unfortunately, she barely got any screen time in the Fate Stay Night. You know, in Unlimited Blade Books, she kind of got a little bit of, uh, you know, almost in the ending episode, a little bit of uh, uh, screen time. And uh, like, because Prisma Ilya has Luvia, I watched it. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge Luvia fan, uh, like, you know, so yeah. <laughs> these, were, these two were my main motivations and kind of find, find, found myself a bit weirded out, especially in that moment because I was not pretty new but still considerably new to anime at that moment and I was not so accustomed to, um, you guys must know what I'm trying to say, this, like you know people who've watched Season one, season two of Prisma Ilya will be able to understand what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I was a bit new to all of that. <laughs> it's a bit uncomfortable, but yeah, still. And then I think uh, from the third or the fourth season, uh, it started getting kind of serious. And in the, I think in the fourth season, it became really serious. And an amazing plot started to unfold, which really, like, you know, like genuinely attracted me to the story. The whole, like, you know, when we get to know all about the Mew verse, about the Mew Shiro uh, and uh, all that stuff like you know the past and all and especially after, after that the movie came out I was really interested in it and really invested in the uh, story and now it's almost like you know like it's like one of the uh, definitely one of the best uh, like you know fate spin-offs uh, Prisma Elia like now like the second movie is coming out and this looks it's going to be pretty lit it's definitely going to be amazing <laughs> and uh, like yeah i think i my memories will probably get a little bit hazy as after this releases because i probably won't remember each and everything of prisma Ilya, so i might rewatch it again so if i rewatch prisma Ilya again this will be my third time rewatching it because <laughs> The first time I watched it, and the second time I uh, re I rewatched it is when uh, before I started uh, the movie, you know, the Oath Under the Snow. Uh, I forgot most of the things that happened, so I rewatched it and watched the Oath Under the Snow. And now, probably after this movie comes out, I'll again rewatch it a little bit. So yeah. Anyways, so yeah, that was it. That was Prisma Elia, and uh, I'm sure everyone can agree on this that this show kind of started in a really um, weird way because I've seen a lot of people actually saying that what the hell is this like you know, it's kind of really weird and I don't like you know blame them because the first two seasons are like that you know the whole um, thing yeah so <laughs> but uh, in my opinion like if you look past all of that and keep going with the story it really becomes great and it, it, it definitely has a very interesting plot and uh, Probably on par with Fate Stay Night, not as as good as that, but still it's really on par with that. And this really shows us a whole new perspective of the Holy Grail War, you know, the whole uh, card system and uh, you know all that stuff. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I think that was Mew fighting in this trailer, wasn't it? Yeah, that was Mew. Mew in her berserker form. I'm really quite excited for that because I, because I think this is the first time she. I think so. Used the berserker form, isn't? Didn't she? And uh, she's fighting. Uh, what was her name? I forgot her name. Her name was Beatrice, wasn't it? The girl she's fighting with, who is also another berserker. I forgot her name. But it'll be interesting seeing two berserkers fight like that. And uh, obviously, like in the end, we see Ilya in her Arthur Pendragon form. So yeah, and. Erika is also here, and I, as far as I can remember, uh, Angelique, Angelica, that was her name, wasn't it? Yeah, she was also kind of, you know, yeah, as far as I can remember, she was also, she also 
came with us by the end of it you know when everyone was defeated yeah so like erika and angelica are both here with us now so that will be interesting like erika herself is as i said like erika herself is quite mysterious and in a really weird way kind of creepy because of her whole mor morality you know like like I, I i always feel this like uh, in a lot of animals we see this the characters uh, who has no moral compass you know, who do not know what is actually good what is bad you know what is correct to do what is un incorrect to do they're like uh, what do you call it uh, they're like children little children you know like they do something bad and they like are confused as to what is wrong because they really do not understand what they did bad and that is really you know one of the most creepiest archetype of anime characters like you know more like the people who have the moral compass broken completely and erika is one of those characters and it, it like you know it really makes her character very interesting because she genuinely does not know what is good what is correct what is incorrect and that's why she does real stuff and then she actually wonders that what the hell did i do wrong because the moral compass in her is not developed enough so it makes her character very interesting in my opinion and we, we saw a few characters like this if uh, i'm going to take a few uh like you know what can i say like, like names if you guys have seen it uh, another character who has the moral compass broken is uh Kyube from madoka magica uh kind of similar to this like you know prisma Elia both have maho shoujo's so Kyube if you guys know if you guys have watched madoka magica so yeah like these type of characters who have moral their, their moral compass are broken are creepy in a very weird way and uh, yeah that's very <laughs> i don't know what to say uh uncanny but yeah and uh, I'm, I'm guessing we're also going to see sakura here we saw her and who knows maybe we're also going to see uh shiro fight i'm sure we'll go we're going to see him fight because julian is here so i'm guessing he's bound to you know he's bound to end up fighting with him and obviously Ilya is there as well so yeah yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to fate Khaled liner prisma Ilya movie number two list namai no nai shoujo so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh like let me help me get to 1k subscribers and comment down below your opinion uh, anything you want to say uh, i know i'm a bit late uh, to re react to this trailer but uh still, like you know like i did it because uh, i kind of missed it you know completely i i really forgot that this like this movie was going to come out and <laughs> that's why i'm doing it now this like i'm this late at the party <laughs> so yeah guys so yeah guys thank you guys for watching um i'll see you guys in the next fgo uh you know video like any like, you know fade video that i would do reacting to trailers or any of the usual fgo videos that i do i'll see you guys in that and if you guys are interested in all my other fgo videos or my other fade related stuff uh click on the link in the description box and it'll take you to my uh playlist there are a lot of videos i think i've you know, done 42 or 43 videos on fgo oh <laughs> yeah so yeah guys um see you guys then so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day